Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about how to automate deferred expenses in Odoo 16 accounting module. So what does deferred expenses? They are known as the prepayments or prepaid expenses and are both costs that have already occurred for unconsumed products or services yet to receive. So if you automate the deferred expenses, then Odoo will automatically pass all the journey entries. You have three choice for automate deferred expense fee. No as the default value and nothing happens. Create in draft. You need to select the model in the deferred expense model field. And whenever a transaction is posted on the account, a draft deferred expenses entry is created but not validated. And the third option is create and validate. You must also select the deferred expense model. Whenever a transaction is posted on the account, a deferred expenses entry is created and immediately validated. So let's check how to manage the automation of deferred expenses in Odoo 16 accounting module. So let me get into the accounting module and under configuration menu, we can create the deferred expense model. So search for deferred expense model. So here we can see the deferred expense model. So let me create a new model that is annual insurance with the model and we can set the depreciation method that is number of recognition that is by year so we can set the recognition as month or year so letting it to be months and here we have different computations like no pro rata constant periods based on days per period and you can also give the details like company name, deferred expense account. So let me choose a deferred expense account. And we need to give the code for this and the type of the deferred expense account is current asset. Now let me save this. And we also need to give the expense account that is uh, we can choose expense account. Now you can save the model and just get into the internal link of the deferred expense account. Now under automation we can see uh, the deferred uh, expense can be automated and set it as create in draft and we can also automate like create and validate. So let me choose uh, create in draft. So we need to set the deferred expense model over here. So let me choose annual insurance as the model and let me save this. Now you can create a deferred expense for this. Uh, for that, you can go to the accounting tab and under deferred expenses, we can create uh, the deferred expense. So let the name be annual insurance itself and you can set the original value and when you choose the deferred expense model all other details will be auto populated by the Odoo uh, as we have set all the other details in the uh, deferred expense model now let me save this now we need to create a product which is of service type so let the name of the product be insurance and you can set the type as service and here we can set the sales price and uh, cost so we have set the price and cost now save the product now let's back to the vendor and you can choose bill now we can fill the details uh, of the vendor bill with the vendor and we can choose a bill date and add the invoice line by choosing the product that we have created that is insurance so here we can see the product that we have created we need to change the account change the account and set it as uh, deferred expense Now let me close the taxes and you can save the vendor bill and let me confirm the vendor bill. So as you confirm the vendor bill here, we can see a smart tab will be triggered 
and here we can see that currently the deferred expense is in draft state because we have choose the automated automation method as create in draft so when you uh, click on compute expenses we can see that uh, an expense uh, board will be generated here so we have already discussed uh, how to uh, manage the computations in the deferred expenses uh, in another video so if you have uh, any doubt uh, regarding the calculation please do check out that video now when you click on confirm button you can see that the draft state will be moving to the running state now let me let me back to the model so just drag down and you can choose a model and just get into the expense i mean deferred expense account and under automation you can change uh, the automation as create and validate now let me save this now let's back to the uh, vendor bills and let me create a new bill uh, by filling the details of vendor and bill date also you can choose the product so that is uh, the product that we have created is insurance here we need to change uh, the account as deferred expense as let me close the uh, taxes now you can save and confirm the taxes i mean confirm the bill now uh, you can see a smart tab is uh, created here now currently uh, the deferred expense has uh, moved to post posted state this is because we have set the automation as uh, create and validate now yeah here you can see that currently this is in uh, running state so let me create a bill uh, by filling the details of uh, when the bill date and you can choose a product so insurance is a product now here we need to change the account as deferred expense now you can save the bill and confirm the bill so currently the bill is moved to the posted state and we can see that our deferred expense smart tab is triggered here so when you check the state of the uh, deferred expense you can see that currently this is in running state this is because we have set the automation as create and validate so when, once you choose uh, the uh, automation as create and validate when you confirm the uh, bill then the deferred expense will be automatically moving to the running state so this is how we manage the deferred expenses in Odoo 16 accounting module